there's a lot of leading medicines and vaccines and treatments out there. There's actually no known official treatment or no known official vaccine. But there's a lot of leading candidates, and even Pittsburgh, some Pittsburgh companies, it's uh, Pitt, Pitt Covac. They've already named the vaccine that they haven't created yet. So that's you know good that they're putting that information out there, getting people excited. It makes it sound like they might have something. So I'm not going to put it past it, but until you know, it ain't over until it's over. It ain't over until the fat lady sings. So until the vaccine comes out, FDA approved, and starts getting passed out. When it, the, when Zika, it was Ebola. God, we got that Ebola vaccine out fucking quick. Didn't we? Ebola's been around forever, but it's, it's anyways. Uh, you have lots of leading candidates for vaccines, such as Lopinavir, Ritonavir, Ribavirin, Hydroxychloroquine, Chloroquine Phosphate. But don't drink fish tank cleaner. Don't drink bleach. Don't eat jacks. Don't ingest fish tank cleaner. Omifinovir, so omifinovir and favilavir rim day is severe. All these are possible drugs, the either generic or the brand name, but all these are possible leads. So, you know, listen to what I say, write it down as best as you can, Google it, you'll probably find what the hell I was talking about if you're like a scientist on the verge of figuring out the vaccine. And then there's also mRNA immune therapy. And that's all I want to talk about right now. mRNA immune therapy. This is the first vaccine that went out. Jennifer Haller, I posted, a lot of people saw her. She was like the first person to get a possible vaccine shot. She was like, you know, in Seattle, Washington, about a month ago, and this whole thing, it's a potential vaccine for the coronavirus, SARS-2, the SARS-CoV-2. So, I saw a picture and a video of her, so I know, you know, they gave her a shot. It was a trial vaccine for mRNA-1273, NIH. And Moderna had developed it. Moderna tried some testing in Washington State. Jay Inslee leads the fight against SARS-2, the baby boomer killer. Now, Michael Jackson makes Pee Wee Herman look like Atticus Finch. Now, with this mRNA immune therapy, Moderna has some potential vaccines. Their proposed vaccines makes use of messenger RNA rather than relying on either a small or an active sample of the SARS-2 COVID-19 virus itself, the source of most existing effective vaccines. So there is no virus. People say, well, you're, you know, just putting a disease in you. Sometimes that's what vaccines are, cowpox for smallpox and I think polio, they did it the same way, too. So this mRNA, it's very attractive because you're not fucking with viruses. You're not ingesting or taking, you know, good, healthy human bodies and giving them a little sick so that you can build up their immune system. You're building up the immune system without even, you know, putting any viruses whatsoever. Now, uh, I'll tell you the... Uh, analogy, the metaphor of what this actually is like. So what they say that it's like, the this whole mRNA immune therapy, so it makes it seem like the, this doesn't have much of a chance, but it's possible, right? Anything's possible. Somehow they want to get in the cells and fuck with the messenger RNA. And the way that the analogy is, you take a piece of paper and you're on the rooftop of a factory that's producing automobiles, so on top of, you know, Chrysler and General Motors, and they're producing a bunch of automobiles, but you need to, them to produce airplanes. And it's for the war effort, it's important, they need it. So anyways, you have a reason, and you need to get this car factory to start producing airplanes, and you're going to take a piece of paper and write down the order and the instructions of how to do it, and then fold it up in a paper airplane and throw it into a chimney into the factory in hopes that it reaches the CEO, and then he opens the paper and is convinced by what you had wrote. So that's along.
long shot. Hopefully the CEO finds some random piece of paper and starts churning out airplanes instead of cars. So the mRNA method means there's no actual virus introduced to the subjects, the human beings who subject themselves to receive it, which in turn means they're not at risk of actually contracting coronavirus or any other kind of virus from the vaccine itself. And that could be, you know, an issue in testing and development for any kind of virus-based immune therapy. So this is mRNA immune therapy versus virus-based immune therapy. This is mRNA-1273. It's LNP encapsulated, right? It's RNA transcription inside the nucleus. We have DNA, and then during the process of transcription, DNA is transcribed to create RNA. RNA leaves the nucleus, goes into the cytoplasm, and then it's being modified in the cytoplasm. RNA has a triple A tail, and a five cap is added, and this signals to ribosomes that this RNA is ready for creating a protein. So triple A tail and five CAP, five cap, you know, it adds to it, the RNA morphs, and that signals to the ribosomes, we're ready to make a protein. Translation is a process where a protein is generated. So the 5' prime cap, the 5' CAP ribosome, moves from the 5' prime cap to the poly triple A tail, and then a protein is generated. So it's like an assembly line, right? Maybe like a turd, just... SARS-CoV-2, this is a virus, invisible enemy. It's asymptomatic, meaning that you can show no symptoms. You can go through the entire process, have coronavirus, show no symptoms, get over coronavirus, and nobody would even no, be none the wiser because uh, some people show no symptoms at all. Now, there's a lipid bilayer, a lipid bilayer, uh, just like the cell and various protein cells outside of the coronavirus, and that's what the spike, the S protein, I think it's the spike protein, whatever the spike uh, to the, you know, corona, the corona of the coronavirus, a little sex suction cup right outside the virus, that's what it attaches to an ACE2 receptor inside your lung cells. So your cells, human cells, has ACE2 receptors for, you know, legitimate reasons. To I don't know, get fucking protein or something. <laughs> so this attaches to the ACE2 receptor, the S protein. It tricks the cell, and then the virus goes into the cell, kills that cell, and then it's dead, and then it spills over to all these other cells. And then the, that doesn't actually kill you. It's terrible what it's doing, because it really fucks up. Not only does the virus fuck up your lung cells, but then the immune response of the human body fucks up the lung cells, too, because they go above and beyond. Or maybe not. Maybe if the virus just, you know, got to do its thing, it would just tear through a person like it wasn't shit. So maybe the body has to fucking attack it with everything it's got, and that's what is killing people is the pneumonia and the immune response to the coronavirus, not the virus itself. And then pneumonia is when your your lung sacs flu, uh, get filled up with fluid, and so you kind of just, you know, drown on dry land. Your lungs just filled up with fluid. It's pus and all the, you know, byproducts and shit. And, uh, you know, it's your, it's, Pneumonia, because the body is fighting back, but it's the pneumonia that's going to kill you. So, you got a big fat piece of RNA, you have this coronavirus, it's got a fat piece of RNA in it, and then when it goes into a new cell, injects the RNA into that new cell, it's a parasite, and it sucks, you know, that cell dry, and it somehow it reproduces, I'm not sure exactly how it reproduces, so, you know, once it attaches and downloads the, I guess, mRNA, then the, the cell itself dies and it has to, I guess, 
Maybe a bunch of viruses stem from that dead lung cell. It's in your lungs. It's respiratory. You can't get coronavirus through blood. So if a person has coronavirus, you know, they could cough on you, and then somehow it gets in your mouth or nose, and it gets into your lungs. But you could, you could have sex with the person. You could have a blood transfusion with the person. And you might get other stuff, but you're not going to catch coronavirus. So, yeah. That's uh, the coronavirus. It downloads the RNA and basically just tells the cell to destroy itself. And then that's like, oh, shit, this is a foreign, you know, pathogen. This parasite body, you know, whips into probably the rifle. I mean, I want to say that it overdoes it, but, you know, maybe it has to overcorrect because it's such a, a terror. So, yeah, L N M. LNP encapsulated mRNA-1273. The transcription, just one last time, I'll do transcription, translation. Transcription inside the nucleus of a lung cell, of a human cell, we got DNA. And during the process of transcription, DNA is transcribed to create RNA. RNA leaves the nucleus, goes into the cytoplasm, and then it's modified in the cytoplasm. RNA gets this 3A tail, this polymer, this polymer A tail, and then 5 prime cap, C-A-P, 5. So there's a 3A tail, and then it's got a 5 cap, whatever a 5 cap is on the other end. So you got, right, the RNA leaves the nucleus, triple A tail, 5 cap, this t signals to the ribosomes, the r RNA is ready for being impregnated with the ribosomes, bullshit. And then translation is where the ribosome turns into a protein. So transcription, I'm not sure what to see. <laughs> oh, transcription is DNA transcribed to create RNA. So basically the cell, you know, the lung cell is like, okay, this is who I am, this is me the DNA, but here's a clone copy, here's some RNA, and then that information can be used other way, the, you know, RNA creates a protein later on, because the ribosome goes through the triple A tail and the five cap head, the five prime cap head, and then a protein is generated, so really it's just all so very, very simple, all you got to do is do what the coronavirus is doing, find out the coronavirus, get the, you know, messenger RNA into the cell, either the virus itself or the lung cells that are infected, and download our mRNA, our computer program, download our message to the cell to, you know, fight this thing in this way, but not that way. So yeah, it's not gonna happen. It's what a fucking long shot. <laughs> that's a one that's a one million shot there. That's a lightning bolt. That's a shark attack. That's a you know, slip and fall and some Legos kind of, you know, death right there. So Moderna, you know, I'm glad they're doing stuff. I'm glad they're adding to the conversation. It doesn't I don't know. It looks attractive because you're not using the virus and maybe that's why. But I don't know. I don't who knows? And, and, and it's not over till it's over, so who the fuck knows <laughs> if this will actually work or not. If it does, then, you know, good, good. So, uh, I would try the Interferon Alpha 2B, the Cuban magic drug first, okay? And uh, there's uh, antivirals out there before I tried this. And this is a vaccine, so this is supposed to prevent the coronavirus, not treat it. Anyways... Southern Colorado, 1.05 p.m., Friday, April 3rd, 2020, 20 years into the new millennium, and this little kung flu, we're letting this kung flu kick our ass, come on America, fuck, we're better than this, okay.